my lord the chief justice of the republic of kenya and the president of the supreme court the principal judge your excellency the ambassador the permanent secretary of trade my lords the judges present in this room our partners distinguished ladies and gentlemen i don't have a written speech and for those who are there on monday um, at the installation of the principal judge, what a relief. <laughs> My role today is very simple, to invite His Lordship, the Chief Justice, to launch this uh, initiative. But before I do that, um, I just want to bring apologies from a member of my court who also chairs the ICT Committee of the Judiciary, Mr. Justice Stephen Kairoga Tembo, who is engaged in hearing of election-related um, appeals in Kisumu this week, but is ably represented by his team who are seated to my right. The, I would like, to, first of all, to thank those who have made this uh, day possible uh, because from today we are going to move very, very fast in realizing some of those reform, reforms that we need in the commercial sector. We need not emphasize that no serious investor would go to a country where disputes are, are resolved many years after they are filed in court. And I'm using the word serious investors because there are those investors who thrive in confused jurisdictions. So serious investors will come to Kenya if we can demonstrate that our system is efficient, timely, and fair in the settlement of commercial disputes. Two areas that we ignore all the time. Um, the tax dispute from where I sit is another major area that we need to focus on. KRA, I think, takes forever before they ask the importers um, or investors to submit their returns. And when they, are, they, they, they demand those returns, they are in billions of shillings. So what does this do to an investor when you demand 10 billion shillings? And we see this in our courts. The other area is in the area of employment and labor relations. Again, I see this in my court. The court, Employment and Labor Relations Court, has done a lot of work. It's a new court. But we hear complaints from employers that we seem to be inclined to give favorable decisions to employees only. That where employees have been charged with theft of company funds, we make decisions to reinstate such employees. We award them hefty compensation so all these areas we must address because without addressing them, we are going to make investors migrate to more favorable jurisdictions. Lastly, before I invite his lordship, it is good enough to invest in the commercial division of the high court. But if we do not invest in the courts above that division, and I'm talking about my court, <laughs> then we are not doing much. Um, the high court, and particularly the commercial division, will be efficient. But when a party um, aggrieved by their decision come to our court, and then they are stuck, the commercial division will take two months for your dis dispute to be resolved, you come to the Court of Appeal and you take four years. Is that what we want? So let's escalate these initiatives to the courts above this commercial division. It is really now my pleasure 
uh, to invite His Lordship, the Chief Justice, to launch this initiative. Your Lordship.